Did you see yeah, that? we saw when we saw it. It's burning. Yes, couldn't couldn't happen to a nicer place to be burning. I must say, this is just incredible. I just heard what well, I they're trying to decide whether they're going to cancel the election. They'll make a run on gourmet garage and get all the food they can eat. <laughs> the city's closed down. I hope they manage to get some people. Huh? Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know. was damaged or whether because of some other kind of uh, detonating device we just do not know we have reporters on the ground let me just say ladies and gentlemen some some serious and we understand right now administrators scrambling to find additional personnel right president was in sarasota when this happened at the pen for a i understand the government staff and to we had ten. I'm just. I'm looking at this picture right now, it. and you cannot see the top of the second tower. That's correct. Um, so, a few moments ago, if you remember, there were just billowing smoke. We there. just have to hope that area was completely evacuated. The <laughs> inspecting Air Force One, because uh, it's been around this morning and. Be We just do not have a direct answer as yet because the, most of the staff, is, if not all of the staff, has been evacuated from the premises. So I gather you're just not being, a, you're not able to get any calls into the building right now, or at least not getting them answered at this point. Calls you, get in, calls you get into the building are not answered at this point. Uh, and more fire apparatus showing up now as we speak. We saw most of the senior staff come out. We have not seen the national security staff that we would recognize anyway, but I should note there are other gates from the White House. We are on the north side. John, you're being drowned out by uh, by the sirens. Uh, Alan Dodds, right there. There it is. Now watch this. I'll actually, dip behind the first building. And there it is. So it goes around behind that building and comes in uh, from the left side. It, it appears. It crossed sort over the through. Hudson. Right. And we have had eyewitnesses who have watched that aircraft they told us it appeared to be a good size they compared it to the size of a shuttle um you know like the boston or washington shuttle and indeed an aircraft was hijacked in boston earlier this morning and the fbi knew that because it's collapsing inward and it's imploding this is a horrific situation you're watching ladies and gentlemen if you are a child watching and you do not have a parent there um, i don't know what to advise you if you can understand this it's hard for an adult to understand, to understand. Uh, 
words cannot describe this, the North Tower of the World Trade Center, the second 110-foot structure that marks the landmark, that is a landmark of New York and Manhattan, and indeed the United States, has just collapsed. And if you look at the timeline in which all of this has taken place in such a short Our bomb exploded. We are about to see it here, Jim. The second, this tower, is the second just tower just completely down. collapses on itself. And I, 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 we don't know what caused the collapse, but it seems, it, well, it seems, it appears that just structural damage from all that fire, uh, although we do not know whether there was some sort of, you know, timed explosion, but it, it does appear that all that fire. And in the end, it doesn't much matter. The, the, yeah. uh, the uh, core was damaged. We know that from talking to witnesses earlier, right. people who were in the building. We do know the core of both buildings was uh, were damaged, the cores were damaged, uh, and uh, apparently the, the building just couldn't withstand the, uh, the mass of the explosion. Th this is, is so The city, best in the world, so a plane, we're told now that a plane went down in Pennsylvania, but we don't know anything much more than that, that a plane went down in Pennsylvania, we don't know where, and we don't know exactly what happened on that but we will keep checking as you can imagine the the, the news is it's flooding into us and we're trying to get out to you best we can bits and pieces but again i would just urge you stay calm all right john let me interrupt you if i may because yes, we have a further development uh, we're told now uh, that from people in washington that uh, the pentagon has uh, undergone a partial collapse uh, as we've been telling you uh, the pentagon was the third location struck by terrorists and we understand that we understand that uh, the Pentagon has collapsed, at least partially. Uh, Mike Emanuel, are you there? Yes, I am. Uh, what can you tell us about this latest development? Uh, it's just been a crazy day here in Washington. I mean, we, it's one of those days where you want, run in one direction, hearing news breaking in one area, and then it seems like something's happening in a different area. We can tell you that uh, apparently a jet has crashed into the Pentagon. Uh, a personnel in that immediate area have been evacuated. There have been some reports that possibly another plane may be heading in that direction. 
Uh, again, it's, it's breaking news, so things have been, uh, details have been kind of sketchy, but we can tell you the United States Capitol has been evacuated. The West Wing of the White House has been evacuated. There are reports of a possible car bombing outside the State Department here in Washington, D.C., so it's been a, a wild news day here in the nation's capital as it has been in your city, and so uh, cr emergency crews are scrambling everywhere, and we can tell you veterans of Washington, D.C. have said for the first time they can ever remember they've seen military planes flying over Washington, D.C., patrolling the skies after the Pentagon was hit. Uh, eyewitnesses saying that they believe it was a U.S. Airways plane that came in low uh, over the city, hitting a portion of the Pentagon. We have not gotten any numbers in terms of injured or possible uh, fatalities, but we will get to those as soon as possible. But uh, simply a crazy day here in Washington, as it has been in New York. Mike, uh, do you know anything about a report that we have here in New York that, uh, according to the Capitol Police, a hijacked plane is en route to Washington now? We've heard that uh, report as well, and then we've also heard people saying that uh, that is not so, that that's an erroneous report. We're trying to... Or perhaps around noon. I'm, I'm not precisely sure on this, and I, I want to... But that's happening citywide. All right, again, Sandy, do me a favor and repeat that uh, schools, those schools changes again, too. I know a lot of people continue to repeat this information so that parents can be sure. And PS 234, uh -huh. and all those students are now being walked to PS a little nervous uh, where we are. Um, whatever is happening and whoever is responsible, we have no way of knowing if it's played out yet or if it's just going on. So every time we hear a plane go by, we wonder what the situation is and where it is. Little hijacks and normally we can say the same thing. <clears throat> Police have done that this morning. Federal office buildings around the country, is that correct? All over the country have been closed or just in Washington? Well, we into uh, the, the United States at Royal Courthouse means a workspace. The officers just said we are now just war. Oh, sketchy information here that a, another explosion, a fourth explosion out the World Trade Center has gone up. One doesn't know if that's an ancillary thing because of what already happened or a, an, an additional explosion of some kind uh, outside of that. There's also been a plane that has crashed in western Pennsylvania. A large plane crashes in western Pennsylvania. Officials at Somerset County Airport confirmed. That's right.
good evening. Broadway and Spring Street corner. much closer because the more buildings have come down then we're not going to help anybody all right i think we should yeah let's use it come out that's just oxygen yeah okay let's just wait right here let's just station up right here okay all right doc. why don't we set up can you hang ivs from this pole here okay okay yeah we just heard another explosion they're handing out gloves and masks Census is. It's too unsafe to go in there. I'm just gonna wait here until they bring some people out. I hooked up with some firemen with some first aid stuff. Let me just set this up as a little mobile hospital unit right here, okay? Okay. 
suggestion? Should we set up here for medical work? Uh, this is, I think this is safe enough here? Those pictures shot by Dr. Mark Heath. We don't know much about Dr. Heath, but we, I think, can fairly say that he had extraordinary presence of mind uh, as he continued not only shooting those pictures, but also offering assistance where he could. At one point, he uh, hid behind a car, tried to get into the car to protect himself from both the debris and the smoke that was building around him. Uh, the car was locked. He tried to break in, couldn't, and then hid his face in a medical bag, his medical bag. Uh, all the while, he kept shooting. A, a, a couple of things that you might have wondered about, uh, a couple of sounds. There was a chirping sound that you heard at various points in the tape. That is the sound of the uh, locator devices that fire men and women wear so that if they are lost in a fire, uh, their colleagues, their brother fire, brother and sister firefighters can get to them. Now, that's the sound of respirators uh, that the firemen, the emergency. Good evening. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. The victims were in airplanes or in their offices, secretaries, businessmen and women, military and federal workers, moms and dads, friends and neighbors. Thousands of lives were suddenly ended by evil, despicable acts of terror. The pictures of airplanes flying into buildings, fires burning, huge, huge structures collapsing, have filled us with disbelief terrible sadness, and a quiet, unyielding anger. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat. But they have failed. Our country is strong. A great people has been moved to defend a great nation. Terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America. These acts shatter steel, but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. America was targeted for attack because we're the brightest beacon for freedom and opportunity in the world. And no one will keep that light from shining. Today, our nation saw evil, the very worst of human nature. And we responded with the best of America, with the daring of our rescue workers, with the caring of, for strangers and neighbors who came to give blood and help in any way they could. Immediately following the first attack, I implemented our government's emergency response plans. Our military is powerful and it's prepared. Our emergency teams are working in New York City and Washington, D.C. to help with local rescue efforts. Our first priority is to get help to those who have been injured and to take every precaution to protect our citizens at home and around the world from further attacks. The functions of our government continue without interruption. Federal agencies in Washington, which had to be evacuated today, are reopening for essential personnel tonight and will be open for business tomorrow. Our financial institutions remain strong and the American economy will be open for business as well. The search is underway for those who are behind these evil acts. We have one old message. It's a message for Jonas. Hi, Jonas. It's Marina Galdowska calling. I just wanted to find out how you are. You're, you're close to this horrible place. I know that it's not so close, but still. So I'll try to give you a call maybe later today or maybe tomorrow. I hope you are well.
So this is um, Wednesday morning. As you can see, still empty. I'm going to have my espresso, no matter what. Yes? Ah. <laughs> so you know how to count now? One. How do you count? He counts in Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> That's two, you got two thumbs. Yeah? They closed just. They closed just before our bar. <laughs> oh, uh, we, we can cross now. Uh, I, I hope I will be able to go home. Uh, excuse me. To Bracket Park. Bracket Park. Oh, let me close through. Swift is right here. Uh, that's the best just book. Do you want to Swift is open if you want to Yeah, I guess Swift. that's already an old place. No, it's, you know. no, it's, it's a, I think it's the best to go there. It says that right here. Hmm? Let's try the old Swift? knitting factory. Yes. We don't want yeah, to yeah, travel by. Yeah, Milan. Milan. That's for sure. They may not let us out. Let us back out. No, no, no. I think getting in was a problem. Now that we're in, it's 
Yeah, because his line was uh, they closed. They and come in five minutes from now. If you're going to tell me that, it, you know, I got to... Uh, yeah, let me check. Oh. Flags. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. I think they have to be close So the same will be with. They may be close. Next day.